ndi makonda ndeza period zinga so si zote ndera i'm there channel wisely chosen where we do all things enjoyment and elevation my name is Diana and I'm so grateful to have you thank you for joining me so as you can see from today's video we're gonna do the ethnicity tag let me tell you guys a little backstory I already had recorded this video but it was one of the videos that I scrapped so now I'm re-recording this so I'm coming to you guys with rejuvenated energy I'm so excited to do this tag it's been a long time coming I see y'all in the comments asking me where in Malawi am I from so on and so forth you know that 24-hour challenge a lot of you guys commented trying to figure out you know my background in terms of being from Malawi and stuff like that so I thought this is perfect for me to give you guys the ethnicity tag I'm super duper excited I've got questions on my phone that I'm going to be answering from, and then we'll go from there. Let's have a good time, get to know me as a Malawian fine babe, but you already knew that. You already knew that. Okay, so let's go. So I got these questions from Google. There's some ethnicity tag questions from Google, and I also stole some questions from my sis, okay? Make sure you subscribe to her channel. Her name is Walia Kalenga. She is Zambian. That's my Zambia sis. That's as close as I get in Chicago to having someone from Malawi is someone from Zambia, you know, where sisters from other from another mister as country. So yes, so make sure you check out her channel. But that's where I got some of these. Where are you from? I am from Malawi, as you can see. I am a Malawian fine babe. It's me. That's where I'm from. I don't know what else to say about that. It's in the title. <laughs> it's in the title. What's your ethnic name? So my ethnic name is um, Anapiri, you know, please, okay, don't come from my pronunciation, do not come from my pronunciations, I have lived in America for, okay, I don't even know the number off the top of my head, what year is this, 21, 19, 19 years, yeah, 19 years, so of course, I'm gonna have like a different pronunciation. That's what happens, okay? But you know what I'm saying, okay? Don't be rude. <laughs> but yeah, my ethnic name is Anapi, but you guys, you know, the Malawians know that that's not like, that, how do I explain it? Uh, the Malawians know that that's like anyone from like a certain region, a certain tribe, a certain, a certain you know, yeah, that's how it goes. So it's not like, oh, I'm the only one, like that's my special name, it's like, Everyone from my clan, is that the word? Like every woman from my tribe, my region is known as that. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. You guys let me know if I'm not, but that's my understanding of it is I'm not I don't have like a super like special like, oh this is Diana's like Malawian name. My name is Diana. I get asked that a lot like, oh. So what's your name? Like, back to Malawian, I'm like, Diana? Like, oh, you have an English name, I'm like, yeah. Okay, this is awkward. <laughs> so yeah, I get asked that a lot. Okay, what part of the country are you from? So when I was living in Malawi, I lived in Blantyre, I lived in Nunaperi, I lived in Jamba, that's where I lived. My dad's side of the family is from Mangoji, specifically Monkey Bay. Okay, and my mom's side of the family is from Balaka, so yeah. That's where I'm from, you know, like village wise, you know, where your family's from, you know. I don't know how to explain this to non Malawians. I think maybe Africans understand, like, okay, it's like everyone lives in the city, but there's always like a back home where like their family's from and where they originated from, like the village that they came from. You get me? Yeah. You get me? <laughs> okay, next question What's your favorite food? You guys. Let me know if you are part of the same group, okay? I am a squirrel, okay? And I was gonna say this in English, but it doesn't hit the same, so I'm gonna say it in Chijewa. Period. Okay? I'm there. I'm there. Like, I'm 
there. I'm there, Fudari. I'm there. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Chili Jose Jodendera. I'm just like happy, at peace. Life is good. Let me. Whew. So, yeah, that's like my favorite food. Like, it's not like one thing, it's like that whole category. Like, if there's something you didn't get out, I'm eating it. There's no question about it. Like, it's, I'm gonna take a taste. I don't care if I'm full, nothing. But besides that, you know the regular, like, I love samosa, I love mandasi, of course. Um, what's another thing? Somba, amagishani. What is it? Cat, what's catfish? What's catfish? In I don't know what catfish is in Chichewa, guys, you know what I'm is like, because if I say catfish here, like, they don't really eat it the same, it's like fried catfish, Koma like in Malawi, you know, you know what I'm talking about, somba, yeah, you know, I said I was from Mangoji, so somba, of course, you know what I'm <laughs> period, okay, so those are my favorite foods, I'm trying to think, I feel like I left something out, Definite, definitely, definitely, but like, I know that what, I call it or like my family calls it is not the common word for it so really want y'all to know like I love that I like I make that and I I make it and I make a big pot of that and I will eat that for a whole week argue with your father <laughs> um who are my favorite Malawian artists you guys already know from the video from before I am a Lucius Banda stan do not play with me do not play with me at all okay I don't play about that man I don't I don't I love him so much so he is definitely one of my favorite artists I do have new school artists too um, from the video it kind of seemed like I only like had like old school but I don't know that many new, I wouldn't say like I know that many new school songs, but the artists that I do listen to, those are like my favorites. Um, that would be Namadingo, of course, Eli and Juji, of course, One's Miss, of course, and I feel like they're very mainstream, they're more mainstream, so I kind of want to get into like not the super mainstream people, and I will be doing a video soon about um, the suggestions you guys left me, okay? Do not worry about it. I'm gonna do that video very soon. But yeah, those are my favorite artists as of right now. Yeah, Milan music is like, I love it. It's a different vibe. It's good because it's home. You know what I mean? I listen to a lot of different country music. I love French music. Of course, I love Afro beats. I love American music because I grew up here, R&B, stuff like that. But it's something about hearing something in your own language it just hits different. Like you understand the meaning even more. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. Can you speak your language and say something in your language? Yes, I can speak my language. I spoke it for you guys. Um, and something I can say in my language is you know, yeah. What do I, what do I love most about Malawi? I love that Malawian people are genuinely, and this is not even me saying this because I'm Malawian, but it's like just my experience, like the kindest people, like so hospitable, so warm. You know what I mean? Like I just love Malawian people's kindness. Like I have met a couple of Malawian people this year, which was like one of the things I was like hoping and manifesting for this year was I wanted to get more in touch with my community, especially people that, um, you know what I mean? Just people like around my age and stuff like that. And every single person I've met is so nice. Like, and I'm just like, wow, you know? And that's not, I don't think that's as common as you'd like to think. And I really do think that's like a Malawian thing. Like Malawian people are so nice. And even when I first moved to America, um, I remember it just feeling like weird like you know what I mean like we had our neighbors and stuff that I don't even know their names even now I don't even know my neighbors names or like walking down the street I don't really like see familiar faces but like being in Malawi you'd walk down the street you would know everybody for blocks like you would know everybody who, where they live their family like their siblings like you would know like who you were around and you know sometimes you just walk and say morning like you know stuff like that like it doesn't really happen as much and I think that comes from Malawians being generally the kindest people um, that I know. I think Malawians are very kind and I think that's why we have the nickname of being the warm heart of Africa. So warm, so welcoming. I just, yeah, Malawians are the best. <laughs> what makes you different from other Malawians? Uh, 
that is a good question and I'm trying to think about it. Um, I think that what makes me different from other Malawians is like, even though I'm Malawian and very proud to be Malawian, I mean, what kind of question is this? <laughs> what makes me different from other Malawians? I mean, everyone is different, you know, at, at an intrinsic level because we're all individuals, duh. Um, but what makes me different from other Malawians? I think I'm like sort of like a chameleon of some sort. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word for it, but I tend to like really blend in with other cultures and then that doesn't take away from like my pride of being like a Malawian person. I think it's also because of where I live and where I'm from. Um, there's not that many. I've been like the only Malawian in so many instances, like a big majority of my life. So I don't, um, you know, it's not like a thing of like, I just disregard my identity. No, when people, Step up to me, you know who I'm repping. You know who I'm repping. You know who I'm repping. Oop, I can't even grab the necklace. You know who I'm repping. You know who I'm repping. I'm Malawian. Like, I rep Malawi. I rep 265. Like, you don't have to doubt that. But I do have a lot of Nigerian friends, Ghanaian friends, and I feel like I really do like blend in with their culture. I'm very absorbent of their culture. So, yes, I'm Malawian, but then I'm also like made up of the cultures that my friends have you know, accepted me into because of the lack of Malawians. You know, they've really like brought me into their culture and you know, I'm really, I'm, you know, y'all already know, I'm Ghanaian by association. We don't even gotta play that. I eat watche, like I love, don't get me started. That's a topic for another, another conversation. We're back to Malawi. Um, so they really brought me in in terms of that. My Nigerian friends, my Eritrean and Ethiopian friends. I've really been able to like, be in their culture and then still hold my own. So I think that's what makes me different from other Malawians. I haven't been able to be around my community um, in big magnitudes uh, for a lot of my life. So I'm Malawian with a spice of Ghana, you know, a spice of Nigeria, a little sprinkle of Eritrea and Ethiopia. Like I'm Malawian with a little twist. <laughs> so I guess that's what makes me different. Okay, the last question is, um, oh shoot, I skipped one. Oh. Uh, what represents Malawi in your household? Give me a second. Kigo, you see this? Okay, this is something that represents um, Malawi. I think in a lot of African countries, this is the thing that I could access the fastest. So I'm close to the kitchen, and a lot of African countries, you know, this makes Sima. Um, this makes Sima, which is like one of our staple foods that we have, it's similar to like fufu and ugali, stuff like that. So this is Mkiko, represents Malawi. Um, the last question is, what's my favorite song? <laughs> uh, you can refer back to the video that I posted of speaking in Jijera for 24 hours to see a multitude of my favorite songs from Malawi. Um, so you guys can check that out, but currently, I've been listening to Moto by Quest a lot. Um, and also, let me see. I've been listening to Moto by Quest a lot. One's a miss. It's been really like on my playlist. So I would say like, yeah. So probably Quest right now. Yeah, Moto by Quest is probably my favorite song right now. But yeah. That is it for the ethnicity tag. Thank you guys for joining in. I am so grateful for you guys. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I wanna say thank you so much for the milestones we've reached. We've reached 400 subscribers. I can't say thank you enough. I am so grateful. And a multitude of other milestones that we will reach in the future. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I hope that you know when you come here, it's going to be enjoyment and elevation always. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please leave a comment down below of your thoughts and your favorite things of being Malawian. If you're Malawian or wherever you're from, put your flag down. Yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I would love to get to know you guys better. Thank you so much and be blessed. Thank you. Bye.